Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Forget the movies. Here's the real life Rambo and what he did for America. Rambo's cool, but this real hero is officially a legend. Are you a Rambo fan? Who is it, right? Sylvester Stallone brought one of the biggest badasses in film history to life, and Rambo has since become legendary. Obviously, those films weren't exactly realistic; they were just fun. However, did you know that the U.S. Army Special Forces really did have someone who closely resembles the fictional Rambo? His name was Master Sergeant Raúl Pérez Roy Benavides. He received the Medal of Honor for his heroic actions in the Vietnam War. But there's so much more to the story. What this man endured is shocking and very, very real. Via sunny skies, the six-hour battle left Benavides with seven major gunshot wounds, 28 fragmentation holes, and both his arms were slashed by a bayonet. He had fragments in his head, scalp, shoulder, buttocks, feet, and legs. His right lung was destroyed, and he had injuries to his mouth and back of his head from being clubbed with a rifle butt. A bullet shot from an AK-47 entered his back and exited just beneath his heart. That is a terrifying laundry list of injuries. How the heck did he even survive? That alone was very Rambo-like. But what he did while in action is even more impressive, if that's possible. It began when his team met heavy enemy resistance on the ground and requested emergency extraction. But though three helicopters tried to rescue them, they couldn't land due to intense enemy small arms and anti-aircraft fire. So what did Sergeant Benavides do? He hopped aboard one of those choppers and told the pilot exactly what to do. Here's part of the description of the event found in his Congressional Medal of Honor description. Realizing that all the team members were either dead or wounded and unable to move to the pickup zone, he directed the aircraft to a nearby clearing, where he jumped from the hovering helicopter and ran approximately 75 meters under withering small arms fire to the crippled team. On his way to reaching his comrades, Benavides sustained those aforementioned injuries, but he didn't stop. He just kept going. Despite all his awful wounds, he carried and dragged half of the wounded team to the waiting helicopter. Unbelievably enough, the story doesn't end there. He went back into the fray and distributed ammo and water to his terrified men, all while under constant enemy fire. He even directed tactical airstrikes, which ultimately led to his team's escape. Yes, this is indeed a real-life Rambo, and we're really hoping that his memory is respected and revered as time goes on. After all, this is real life—a real horrifying war situation, and a true blue real hero emerged. Benavides passed away at the age of 63, but his heroism will live on forever. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.